Flutter. Flutter.dev is an official website for any Flutter developer. And why would you use Flutter? It's one of the best solutions to develop apps for Android and iOS without having to write in a different code basis for each platform. Using the same code basis, it's also possible to create web apps for browsers as well as native programs for different operating systems like the Windows, Linux, and also the Mac OS. Flutter supports both Android and iOS platform and it's because it renders everything by itself and lets you run everything off one code base. It's a big time saver. Google is the company behind Flutter framework. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and install Flutter on your machine. So with that said, let's get started. So with installation, you need to choose the operating system you're using. So I'm going to choose Windows in here and that's my operating system. Your device also need to meet all these requirements. Considering the operating system, it should be Windows 7 and above and also it should be later of that 64-bit base. And also the disk space should be 1.64 GB and it shouldn't include the disk space for IDE tools. And considering the tools, you need to install the Windows PowerShell and also the gates for Windows. So this is the site where you'll be downloading the gates. I'll link it down in the description below. I already have it installed. So let me show it. So this is the git. So git version gives you the version of the git we are installing and in here is 2.34.1. So let's get started with the Flutter SDK. So we need to download the following installation bundle to get the latest stable release of the Flutter SDK. So we need to click on the blue button there. So we can see our download is complete. Let's proceed. So the second one, we need to extract the zip file and place the contained Flutter in the desired installation location for the Flutter SDK. For example, and that's the example above. And the warning is giving us we shouldn't install the Flutter in the directory like the C slash program files. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So you right click on the zip file. And you need to choose the extract files. After you are done with that, you need to specify the destination path in here. So I'm going to paste in this. That's going to be in the C, the users, and I'll create a folder known as the SRC slash the fl flutter. So you need to click OK. So to be extracting it within the source folder. After the extraction of the file is complete, you need to visit the local disk C, move into your users folder, and also finally your source folder. Within the source, you will have a Flutter folder. You need to visit the Flutter folder. You need to choose the pin folder and copy the path above there. We open the environment variables. You need to choose the environment variables in here. And also, you double click on the path and create a new path. Select new and just paste in the path you just copied. Click on OK. So, on your command line, type in Flutter. And if you get all these information, congratulations, you have Flutter set up on your machine. So let's run Flutter Data to see the few softwares we need to install. So when you run Flutter Data, to give you the detail about what you are missing and the issues you need to resolve. So you have most of our dependencies installed. We have the Visual Studio, Android Studio, 
and we have one issue found and that's the android 2 chain don't worry we will resolve that right now so we need to, to resolve this we need to run flutter daughter hyphen hyphen android hyphen license so let's do that and see the results There we go, all SDK package lines is accepted. So let's clear it and run Flutter Dota again to see whether we get any issue. Wow, we have no issue found and everything is being set up. If you have one of these issues, you need to put it down in the comment below so I'll help you out. So with this, we are done with Flutter installation, everything set up. So let's open our VS Code. Let's open the command palette with Ctrl Shift P or F1. So within there, you need to choose Flutter New Project. You need to click on Flutter Project, New Project and click on Application. So in here, I'll be creating a new folder to keep track of all my Flutter projects. So I'll create a folder in here and name it as Flutter Projects. And choose that folder. And you need to name your project name. So in here, I'm name, I will name it as my first app. So it will start installing the dependencies to get started with flutter and flutter is based on that language it has nothing to do with javascript it's that language so you can see i'll put it in here so you can see all is done and in order to run your application you need to type flutter run so there are quite extension we need to install with regard with Visual Studio. So let's jump right into it. We need to install the Dart extension. And also we need to install the JSON to Dart. And also the Dart centers highlighting only. And also let's search for Dart class generator. Okay, there it is. We need to install that one too. okay there we go so let's open our android studio and set up our emulator So in here, you need to choose the virtual device manager. So as you can see, I have one emulator, that's episode 3A. To create a new device, you need to click on create a device up there. And you need to choose your device. You have a couple of emulators in here. You need to click on next. And also, you need to click on that and select next. I already have one emulator created in here, so I'm not going to create a new one. So. I'm going to start my puzzle 3A. So we can see our emulator setup. Let's run Flutter Run and see what these files and folders contain. Oh, there we go. It's a simple counter app that keeps track of the number of times you click a button. So when I click the button, it will be counting the number of times you've pushed the button. Wow, that is simple code, initial code within the flutter. 
so basically this is the setup and installation i want to show you with time we'll be diving into this flutter app development if you are new here just subscribe to this channel so that you always stay updated on my videos there is also one important extension we need to install and that's the flutter so on your extension just search for flutter and get it installed on your vs code so let's do that see you in our next tutorial until then stay tuned